All right, uh, a open bore pack was recently released for uh, CoinOps Next, but there are some controller issues, which I'm going to try to fix uh, in a video here, uh, just to show you how to do it. Um, so basically what happens is a lot of times it, like the buttons will work, but not the sticks or the D-pad. And uh, you can't use the keyboard or anything like that. And it's just, you know, there's doesn't seem to be a way to map it. However, um, due to uh, instructions by the creator of the pack, um, I was able to figure it out. So we're just going to go with a random game or something. Okay, hold on one second. I, I kind of missed something. I need to actually tell you how I got where I got um, inside of CoinOps so that you can actually follow the tutorial that I've just created. All right, so first of all, we're going to go into whatever folder that we have saved CoinOps uh, next to. I have it in F and then once you go into F, what you're going to want to do is go into collections. Once you go into collections, you want to go all the way down until you see open bore official. Once you get into open bore official, you want to go into the ROMs folder. And this is where I found that Battletoads game. So just to let you in on where this is actually located, that's it. And so we have joy to key here. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to go with a Battletoads game here. You're going to want to go into the saves folder and then you want to delete the default config as well as the games, can, the actual games configuration file. If there is not a game, you know, like a say Battletoads config, then just de delete the default uh, configuration. So once you get rid of that, you're going to want to go back to the uh, games folder and open the openbore.exe file here. Once the game loads, you want to hit alt enter, not like that, but yeah, you want to hit alt enter and that's to go into full screen mode and uh, your the keyboard's now going to work. So you will have your controller plugged in or paired, ready to go. And you want to go into your options, uh, control options, set up player one, and use the keyboard. To, so en hit enter to move up and choose whatever it is that you want. I'm going to use the analog stick. You can use the D-pad. So down, left, and right. And then we choose what we want for our attack. I want A. Uh, I want to go down. Start is start, you know. And we go with special, which I like to keep it X normally, unless it does something that I don't, you know, does something different than what I was expecting. Uh, I'm going to keep jump as B. And I'm just going to go with whatever for these. A lot of times I find that these don't do anything. Uh, so I'm just going with Y and L and R. So that's just my thing. And if you want, you can map the screenshot. So there's that. And now the game I'm using the gamepad instead of the keyboard. And I can put the keyboard aside and uh, use the uh, the, the gamepad. I do find the analog stick to be a little finicky. <laughs> it likes to move, it likes to return to center and move up and down, do whatever. Ugh, got something in my throat. So now I'm gonna play a game. I've never played this before. So we're gonna do that. So now it's working, so. And I'm getting my ass kicked by a mouse. Yay. It's just like real life. So, that's how you do that. And that, 
Unfortunately, it does have to basically be done for whatever games you want to play, at the least. Um, you may- you probably aren't gonna want to remap over a hundred games, but at least choose your favorites and remap those. That was intelligent of me to do that, yeah. Okay, so... And now, if you want to get out of the game, you just press pause, and you hit start on end game when you actually select it. And then we get out of the game, and I hit quit. There's a hotkey for exiting out of the game in um, Coin Ops Next 2, but I don't remember what it is because it's kind of complicated, so I just quit out like that. So that's basically how you take care of the controls, get those working so that you don't have to fight with it. Oh. I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, have a good one.